took it to my heart. Welcome to Guardian Ops. We're going to mute the music. I'm going to get this bad boy started. Guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, really appreciate all the subs that we got today. Uh, we're going to keep streaming today until we reach uh, 500 subscribers. It's going to be crazy if we get there. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I might just keep on streaming. Just keep on going. Who knows when it's going to happen. But, but uh, yes, it's a tickets raid. Tickets raid? <laughs> who am I? Who am I getting? Oh, is, is am I getting raided by Kevin? Is this a Kevin tickets raid? <laughs> Yo, apocalyptic roar, floppy walrus. Hello, floppy walrus. Thank you for clicking on my heart. It's a tickets raid. <laughs> Buckle in, boys. It's a ticket. It's a ticket raid. Is it? Is it Kevin? Is Kevin raiding me right now? Is Kevin streaming? Anyway, so I will post this video on YouTube as well. I'm gonna be. Po I gotta post yesterday's and I'll post today's. So if you miss, if you miss any of my streamer spotlights. Go to my YouTube channel. You can catch the ones from this week. I'm starting posting them this week, so uh, the old ones, unfortunately, are gone. Yo, Moss fan, hello. Uh, Ziolono, thank you for clicking on my heart. Welcome to Guardian Outpost. All right, guys, welcome to my channel. My name is David. Welcome, Raiders. If I'm getting raided right now, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, our guest today is Pink Smurf. I do this streamer spotlight uh, every day, nine, eight, 11 o'clock Eastern time. We, we interview a growing streamer. Something I love doing, you know, I grew this channel by supporting others, by supporting uh, the community, and that's what I'm gonna, that's what I, I'm gonna keep on doing, you know, just because, just because I'm partner doesn't mean, doesn't mean I gotta stop uh, uh, doing what, what it is that I do around here. So, our guest today is Pink Smurf. Let's start right there, Pink. Uh, why Pink Smurf? Uh, my favorite color is pink, so that was really easy. Um, I used to collect all the different breast cancer stuff, so my room is solely filled with pink items, so we went with that. And my name is Stephanie Murphy, so Smurf fit really well with uh, ah. my nickname as a kid, so I was like, eh! Stephanie Plus you don't see pink Murphy. Smurfs. You're Irish? Yes, just a little. J just a little? What part of the world do you live in? Uh, New York. New York! I was gonna say, New I was gonna say, York. if you live in Boston, you're so, you're such a stereotype. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I live in New York. <laughs> she lives in New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. So, Pink, oh, give, me, give me a little bit of your gaming history. Um, I've played for, like, ever, obviously, like everybody. I was a big Nintendo fan for a very, very long time. And in college, my boyfriend at the time introduced me to World of Warcraft, and that introduced me to, like, He introduced the... you to World of Warcraft? He definitely wanted to break up with you. What a dick. Well, I broke up with him, because <laughs> so, I got better at it than he did, and he got frustrated. So, really? like, so he, he's one of those guys who couldn't he he couldn't handle that his girlfriend was better at gaming than him. Yeah, he couldn't handle it. Jeez, what a loser! What a loser! I mean, come out. <laughs> and so I started playing World of Warcraft. That was the first online multiplayer game that I'd ever played, um, because I never really owned a online console. So. I was like, why not? And then my friend one day was like, hey, you should just uh, try streaming and see how it goes. And I was like, all right. So I joined Twitch uh, a little over a year ago now. And then that introduced me to a whole wide world of so many online games. And I was like, oh, yes, let's do this. So I actually don't play World of Warcraft as much anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. And now I do actually focus on Destiny. I have it on both consoles. Nice. And I do like a mystery game i'm trying to do it once a week and i have so many games that i have to play so now we're now working how, on it how, how did you get into destiny um i actually follow you and um the geek chick she's no. such a sweetheart she lives a town over from me and then when i saw how much fun you guys were having, like the replay playability rate of it is so high and i was like oh my god this is something i think i could get good like be decent at and i've never done console shooters i've always done computer so i was like Let's try it. And then they both went on sale for like some reason. The collections were on sale, and I was like, I got both. And I was like, oh, I love this. I'm nice. obsessed. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> and how is your multitasking going? It's getting a lot better. Yeah, it is. Pink asked me the other day, how is it that you play and talk to chat at the same time? I go, multitasking. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be really good at at multitasking. By the way, Mr. Stevo says, suck it, X. <laughs> So yeah, suck it, X. Yeah, he actually just got married, ironically, to oh. one of the girls that I was really good friends with. So I was like, ah, eh, good whatever. for you. Yeah, you he, handle that headache. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, he was like a little farm boy and had like a huge like 
beard and you couldn't see his face, and I was just like, uh, it was Farm just boy, not... don't tell me you met him at FarmersOnly.com. Oh, yes. No, I went to school in upstate New York, so um, I went to SUNY Cortland for uh, biology. Nice. So that was like a big, I met a lot of awesome nerdy friends doing that because Believe it or not, when you're studying a really hard subject, you really don't go out as much as you think you do. No. So that's why I was a communications major, so I could go out and just hang out all day. And be like, be like, yo, do you have any homework today? Pfft, homework? I'm a communications major. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I had like swamped in like advanced organic chemistry homework, and I was like, this is horrible. You but think I he married it. your friend because he just he still loves you that much? He just wanted to be near you? No, me and her were not that good of friends. And we're totally different people. She's definitely more like him than I was. Um, well, he probably, and she probably is not as good at video games. That's probably why. Uh, I, know, I doubt it, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, what, so you, you said you studied biology. What do you do IRL? Uh, IRL, I work at a pharmaceutical company. Oh, so I help make drugs for a living. <laughs> ah, you make the drugs. You're not, you're not going to doctor's offices and manipulating doctors to buy drugs, are you? No, we, we uh, use the drugs that are already like out there we make them and deliver them to people which is pretty sweet do you watch big bang theory yes i do you're bernadette yes <laughs> in real life except for i play more video games than she you does you play and more my... video games than bernadette but you, you you're totally bernadette <laughs> that's really cool and my voice is a little less annoying <laughs> now, you say, like do you work for a big pharmaceutical company um our actually our company uh last year got bought out by a larger company so now it's a very, very large, large company now. <laughs> so wow. it's insane. It's actually it's weird because I use I have um I have psoriasis, which is like a genetic skin blah blah blah. Yep, I know who that is. And I actually used the product before I worked for the company. Oh good. And now I work on the product that I use. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Why is it that you guys release all these all these all these uh, drugs with uh with a myriad of side effects? What is what is that all about? Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm in there and I follow a procedure to make what we already make, so. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's, there's never it's a guy who, who's going out there going, no, stop, stop, don't put this out there. It's going to make people's butts bleed. I mean, the the stuff that we do is mostly, like, for, like I said, like, the psoriasis and, like, it's a, to we do topical creams and we do, um, kind of, like, alcohol-based alcohol, alcohol -based stuff, so it's better for, like, hair and stuff for when they have it on their scalp. Um, it's definitely something that I really enjoy because I have it, so I know how horrible it is to deal with it. And the side effects of this are like, oh, it makes your skin itchy, like like in the spot that you put it on. But if you know anybody with psoriasis, they're constantly scratching their skin anyway, yeah. so it's it helps. <laughs> you know, technically, you are basically stuff. a drug dealer if you think about it. You are a drug technically dealer. technically you are a drug dealer. <laughs> So we have uh, we have Pink Noriega in here with us right now. Ooh, <laughs> Pink! Pink Noriega, Pink Smurf is yeah. our guest here on, on the Streamer Spotlight. It's a pretty. Do you get a lot of the questions? Like I know I, I know I'm joking around, but do you do you get a lot of those questions about you know you know pharmaceutical companies and releasing drugs that have like a million side millions of side effects? You get those questions a lot. Um, not as much because I don't tell people where I work very often. Because if they tell me they have a side effect, I have to report it. Mm. Really? And um, there's, like, a really big investigative process that we have to go into anything that goes on. Because being approved by the FDA is actually really difficult. A lot of people think it's really easy. Um, it can take up to 10 to 15 years to get a product approved. Really? Yeah. 10 to 15 and, um, years or 10 to 15K and you get that thing done quickly? <laughs> no, actually. Um, there was, like, this huge scandal a couple of years ago with um, a, like, anesthetic that pregnant women were taking because it was like a pain oh, like surgery thing and the babies that were born from it were maldeformed and that's where the fda oh, came in and was like we we're not approving it was actually in europe and they're like we're not approving this year like no matter what you guys put in like you guys can change the formula <laughs> i don't care it's not happening like it's a big deal so, oh god i know cool. when my wife was pregnant she didn't take anything like if she got sick she just let it she just let it go and, and tried to heal naturally by the way, guys, tickets are on sale. Put exclamation point ticks so you get your tickets to Guardian Con. Tickets are on sale for Guardian Con. Get them while they're hot. $40 for two day, $25 for one day, $150 for, uh, for the, those VIP, for those VIP tickets. So be sure to get yourself those tickets. Pink Smurf is our guest here 
on the Super Spotlight. Now, what got, what exactly got you into streaming? Pink? Oh yeah, there. I was I was typing. I didn't want to. I don't. I, it's the one thing with being well, like I hate being rude yeah, right. with that. So. <laughs> so what 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 got you into the uh, into streaming? I know, I know you mentioned about getting into it, but what what got you into it? How how uh, how did you find out about it? One of my friends was just like, you should really just try this, see what happens, and like he introduced me to Twitch, and I like was really like, people are gonna think I'm so weird, like sitting at my desk talking to people. And he's like, well, you want to improve your gameplay. And one of the best ways of improving gameplay is sitting there and having people talk to you about what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, I could do that. That's fine with me. And, and I was like... Multiple, you've streamed multiple games, though. You're, you're a variety streamer. Uh, you're now doing a lot of Destiny. But what, 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 what were the kind of games that you'd like to do before? Well, like, I did play World of Warcraft. Um, I've literally expanded, like, in random, like many, many random MMOs. So I did play uh, Star Wars Online for a while. I tried to get into Star Trek Online. Didn't really, uh, didn't really happen for some reason. And then I had a series of computer issues. <laughs> yeah. So then I was trying to do a lot of games that were not CPU heavy, because the one I had was an absolute potato. Yeah. <laughs> and now I have this one, and I was like, oh. I might as well stream whatever I want to play versus just what people want to see. So now I play Destiny now and um, just got Grand Theft Auto on sale for Black Friday. So nice. we'll see. If you like, like Grand Theft off. Auto and you got an Xbox on on <laughs> December 1st, Sleeping Dogs free. Really good game. Similar to Grand mm. Theft Auto. Open world game. Lo lots, of, lots and lots of fun. Yo, Apocalyptic with a two-day pass. She purchased a two-day pass. Congratulations. Oh, you can only buy tickets for yourself at Guardian Con? Well, you know what? <clears throat> Last year I bought I bought extra tickets and I was able to give them to people, so so maybe you could work maybe you could work around that. Pink Smurf, our guest here on the street on the streamer spotlight. Uh, have you when you you know, what games have you seen more success with? Because you are, like you said, you are a variety streamer. A lot of people tend to, especially growing streamers, tend to struggle more when they do variety games. But what games have you seen, you know, what games have you have played where you've seen uh we've seen some good viewership, some good growth? Um, Destiny is definitely doing way better for me than a lot of But when I first started I was a World of Warcraft like exclusive streamer. Yes. And sometimes when I pop back on that I'll do pretty well, but I really I'm gonna start pulling away for I think from variety because being a small streamer, like you said, it's almost impossible to get your name out there when you play a different game every other day. Yeah, and it's so expensive too. Like a lot of people don't realize how much money you're laying out for the newest games as they come out. Like if you're a big streamer, you're given those games. Like yeah, it makes yeah, so yeah. much more yeah, sense. Yeah, if you're a big a big streamer with you know thousands upon thousands of subs and thousands of viewers, they just they just give you the, give you those games for free. Um, yeah. So now you're now you're doing now you're doing Dest now you're doing Destiny. You're seeing a lot of improvements. What do you think of the Destiny community? Um, I think they're absolutely amazing. It's very, very rare that someone will come into my channel and be like, oh my god, you're so horrible. And I'll be like, oh, that's like, I totally don't care how well I play video games, to be honest. Like, it's not that I don't want to be good at them. I'm just not the best player, but I do it anyway, because it's something I love. Like, yeah. if you come in my stream, you'll see me like I cannot jump for the life of me in Destiny. I will fall off the edge three or four times in like 10 minutes and people were like there goes Steph falling off the map <laughs> like it's fine whatever um but I don't I rather just play and like have people be like oh do you know like you should be using a shotgun instead of using instead of having a sniper rifle um equipped for uh crucibles I was like oh my god I didn't even think of that like stuff like that and they just make everything so much more simple yes yes and listen I'm proof I'm proof positive that you don't have to be good at Destiny <laughs> to grow. Um, you don't have to be good at Destiny to grow. You could definitely, as long as you're interactive and, 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 and you're entertaining people, uh, you'll be okay. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not the greatest at PvP. Pretty good at PvE, you know, I'm pretty good at, at those raids. But yeah, when it comes to PvP, uh, I, I'm, the, uh, I'm the absolute worst. So pick, when people come to your channel, what can they expect? Um, right now I'm actually going to start doing trials and raids. I've actually never done any of them. So if you guys want to come over and play with me when I'm actually doing it and like me through stuff, I'm totally for it. It's not considered backseat gaming because I'm legit like clueless. She will take um, the backseat gaming. <laughs> I will take it and love it to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me. oh, uh, you say, you say, 
backseat gaming. They're there. People love to people love to backseat <laughs> game, and and if, you, and if you allow it, oh, you'll you'll get there. So, Pink, what what kind of goals do you have for your channel? Um, I just love like just having people there and promoting. I like positivity because everything in our everyday lives like sucks sometimes, and like you can go anywhere and find negative energy. Yeah. But I'm totally totally up for people like just coming into my channel chilling listening to music and like playing games with me and just talking about like their day like the good parts of their day and if they need like anything they could come in the discord channel and like vent my channel is really good with that and they'll just be like don't worry it's not you it's them it's fine like just take a deep breath you're overreacting <laughs> and it's just like i don't know it's just a good community and i want to keep it that and i like to spread like my knowledge about what i know like on like my peripherals, a lot of people come in and they're like, "Oh, what do you think of this?" And I'm like, "Don't get it." <laughs> nice. Like I'd rather tell people not to waste their money and have like try something for themselves before they like are just just listen to everybody else. You um, you cool. definitely gave me. Uh, I remember the way I met you. Somebody retweeted your 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 vid. You used to post your stream on your Twitter timeline. Oh yeah, they're bringing that back. By the way, they're I'll bringing send that back. Oh, that's something definitely I want to. I'll send you the info. Maybe they'll let me. Maybe they'll let me do that. Um, yeah. yeah, I saw you streaming your. Yeah, but it was very buggy though. Like it was very very buggy. It was supposed like. It, but I remember going into your stream, and I, I'm going, hey, how do you put your stream on your Twitter? I just saw that, and you gave me the link. You were very nice, and then and then that's when I like introduced myself. I go, oh by the way, I mean I'm on Guardian Outpost, and I whispered to you. I go, I whispered to her. I didn't promote myself in her chat. I whispered to her. I go, oh by the way, I'm a. I'm a I'm a streamer and I love to talk I like to help growing streamers. If you need any help, let me know and and the rest as they say is history. History. Oh I just got my ticket. Yay. Yeah. So Pixar, do they know do they know uh that you stream at work? Um some of my coworkers know. Um uh, most of them don't really get it. Like when you say, Oh yeah, like I talk to people and play video games, they're like, well, why? <laughs> But, and I'm like, why not? <laughs> why, are, why, are they, why are they just making drugs instead? <laughs> yeah, n I don't know. It's just like really weird. We don't really get to talk about it as much. But think, anybody that asked me about it, I'm like, yeah. You think awesome. a you think a, a a a company with a bunch of biologists would be no, nothing but nerds would understand would understand what Twitch is? My mom, who's like in her 60s, understands what Twitch is now. Took her a minute, but she understands. <laughs> so pink. I keep calling you Pink, even though I know, now I know your name, but we keep calling you Pink because that's your name. Pink it's Smurf, fine. our guest here uh, on the streamer on the streamer spotlight. Um, do you allow people that don't like the color pink in there? Of course, <laughs> I'll convert you. My daughter, my daughter is starting to love the color pink. It's like that's the color she'll pick for she'll pick for everything now. I've been trying to be like, yo, honey, let's not let's not just have her love pink. Let's have her love another color. But no, no fail. She loves pink. Fail. I didn't like pink growing up. I actually hated the color pink. I thought it was like. Stereotypical girly, uh, yeah, and everything, then everything for little girls. Everything. For everything. Girls. It, I did purple. It, purple it, was my thing. Oh God, we have this. We have this society where we're we're advancing, and you know, ladies have more equal rights and all this stuff. And then, <laughs> uh, pink is still the color that they make they they pigeonhole girls with. I'm like, come on. But my daughter loves pink. It doesn't matter, man. She'll she'll grab something pink and she go pink. <laughs> like, oh my God. Pink. It's the one <laughs> color she knows how to say perfectly. Every other color she doesn't know how to say. She she says it. But with a, she says it weirdly, but then pig, like pig. So pig, so, uh, when do you stream? Let the people know when you stream so they can come check you out. I stream usually around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The exact opposite of when you do, unless nice. you do your night stream, and then we stream at the same time. Yeah. So you do, you do 6 uh, p.m. Eastern Time then? Uh, oh. No, uh, 7.30. 7.30. 7.30 Eastern but Time. Do you do every day? Uh, every day but Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday are day streams for like the European people that used to watch me because I used to not have a job. <laughs> now, now, uh, I know you're streaming a lot of Destiny, but you're. Uh, is there any other games you're looking forward to streaming as well? Um, I'm thinking GTA Five might become something because I do have this beast of a computer that I'm not using anymore because it's just capturing video and yeah. putting it out there. So I feel really bad. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating on it with my consoles. <laughs> <laughs> so we might actually um, do that, and uh, I haven't decided yet though, because I'm really enjoying the first-person shooter. I'm getting so much better at it, so I'm like, hmm, maybe. <laughs> uh, keep working, keep working on that multitasking. Pink, thank you so much for joining me today. Before we get you out of here, I don't know how many streamer spotlights you've caught, but we like to ask one question at the end of every stream, of every every interview. Pink Smurf, boobs or butts? 
Boobs or butts? Oh my god, butts. I'm a big booty fan. She's an ass woman. I'm an ass. I have a nice butt. She so that's has probably a nice why. butt. So of course. Oh. Oh, you know, did I tell you the story how I met my wife? I met my wife 